Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Terraria 1.4 modded tutorial series. Today we're going to be learning how to create a custom class or damage type in Terraria 1.4. This has been requested so many times I don't even think I can count, uh, but today we're finally going to get it done with. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our .cs project file or our .solution file and we're going to have to create a global player. Now, if you want to learn how to do that, I did go over how to do this in my accessories video uh, in 1.3. It's essentially the same exact thing, so there's no problem uh, following that tutorial to at least get this template set up, uh, even if it just looks like this. That's perfectly fine. But once you uh, have that all set up, you can then follow this video, and it should be pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a variable that stores the damage modifier for our damage class. And we're going to say right here, and I apologize for typing uh, very slowly. I am currently typing with only one hand because I'm holding my microphone with the other. So public float sticky damage equals 0f. And this is going to be the percent modifier of our damage. And I'll show you why we're setting it to 0 in just a second. But we're also going to have to do the same exact thing under our public override void uh, reset effects method, which once again, if you don't know what that is, I uh, highly recommend you go uh, and watch the accessories video where I explain this in much more detail. But essentially what this is, is this method is run at the end of every frame and it's used to reset things like whether or not we have an accessory equipped, or our damage modifiers, because if you think about it, if we had our damage modifier and we never set it back to zero, uh, then every time we increased our damage modifier, it would be permanent. And we don't want that to happen. We only want it to be uh, active or effective when we are equipping or wearing an item or armor piece. So you can think of this as like the default damage modifier. If you really wanted to, you could set this to something higher, but that would be kind of weird for a damage class. Anyways, now that we have that, that's actually all we need the global player for. So we can just press Command S and save that file. And I'm going to go ahead over into my test sword. Now for you, you, might, you can just go into any item file that you want because this code will work for any item. And we're going to first have to override our tooltips. So what we're essentially going to be doing is we're going to have to get the melee part where it says melee damage of our tooltip. And we're going to have to change that to our own custom string. So that way the player can see, hey, we're doing uh, our custom damage type here. So we're going to say modify tooltips. Okay. Uh, tab is saving my life here. And I'm going to say var line to change. And we're going to set that equal to the tooltips dot first or default. So what that does is we're getting the line of our tooltip of this item, the first line or the default line. So that means either, so that means what's the line that comes after the name? It's usually the melee damage or the damage line where we specify the type of damage that this item deals. Because remember the tooltip uh, of the display name it's actually not a part of the tooltip. It's its own separate uh, little thing there. We're going to say x equals greater than x dot name. I do not like when it does that. I do not like when it autocompletes things. I do not want name equals equals. Uh, it looks like I wasn't typing. But what this line is doing is it is making sure that we are actually getting the tooltip line that has the damage string uh, associated with it so that we're not just getting some random line because that wouldn't make sense and then we'll say uh, and x dot mod equals equals terraria okay perfect and just like that we now have ourselves the line of the tooltip that we want to change i'll get rid of that little typo over there it should be dot mod and perfect sorry i'm typing with one hand and it is very very annoying but now we'll do a simple if check because we want to make sure that the line that we're trying to change is not equal to null. And it's so smart that it even saw that and let me autocomplete it. So thank you very much for that. But uh, now let's go ahead and put our brackets down there and we're going to say string split. And when we say string split here, we're just basically getting and then changing uh, a very specific part of a string. So let's say the entire tooltip is 15 melee damage, but we don't want to change the whole string. We only want to change the melee part of it. So we're going to say split equals line to change dot text dot split and we want to split that okay and there should be space in between these half quotation marks here 
and then we actually want to set the lines uh, text. So this is going to be more interesting. We're going to say line dot change line to change dot text equals split dot first. And if I can spell first correctly, and plus, and then this is going to be where we actually put the name of our damage type. And for me, I'm going to just say sticky plus split dot last. Okay, awesome. And just like that, if we went and built and reload, you would actually notice that now this item's tooltip doesn't say melee damage anymore. This sword isn't a melee damage anymore. It does sticky damage. Although it won't actually deal sticky damage because we haven't changed our damage type to that of the sticky damage. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, we're going to say public override void modify the weapon damage. So this is a, uh, a very interesting method that allows you to change the damage of an item directly without modifying its item.damage type or item.damage. And what this means is we can say something like this, damage plus equals player dot get mod player and then these less than greater than sign and in between here we'll say the name of our player dot cs file which is just our global player and for you this might be something different maybe you didn't name yours global player but it just makes it a little bit easier uh, when you're referencing stuff and we'll say dot sticky damage and boom just like that now if we go ahead and go into our terraria workshop develop mods build and reload should be no errors okay no errors let's go ahead and go into our single player and if we go ahead and open our inventory and hover over our so conveniently already existing sticky sword you can see it does 12 sticky damage which is exactly what we wanted now how do we can actually but how do we actually go about changing that damage well my friends i'm about to show you something very interesting so over in our global dot player let's go ahead and in our reset effects set that to 0 0.5 real quick and let's build and reload again so that way you can see the effects of what we're doing if we did that right we should have a 50 percent bonus to our damage so let's go ahead and open up our inventory, and boom, 17 sticky damage. You might be wondering, well, wasn't it 12 before? Shouldn't it be 18? Because half of 12 is 6, right? Well, the default damage of the sticky sword is 11. And when you try and divide that by 2, I think it gets something like 5.5. And what a computer usually does is it truncates the decimal, meaning it just gets rid of it entirely uh, when it's an integer value. So it's just adding 5 instead of 5.5 or 6, or rounding up to 6. So that's how we get 17 damage. And let's imagine you wanted to maybe change that uh, with an armor piece. Well, let's go ahead over to one of our armor pieces. Uh, I have my gel leggings here as an example. And let's say we wanted to increase it by 15%. Under our update equip, we'll say player dot uh, get mod player. So what we did before. And then the less than greater than sign global player like that and dot sticky damage plus equals 0 0.3f. And so what that line of code does is so now whenever we have this piece of armor equipped, it will now increase our sticky damage by 30%. And let's also go back uh, into our global player here and make sure that's set back to 0f because we don't want to have a default 50% damage bonus because uh, that would be pretty crazy. But let's go ahead, save and exit workshop and build and reload. So now, if we go into our world one more time, and we check our sticky sword, okay, it does 12 damage. Uh, and by the way, the reason why we're getting 12 here is because we have a 10% increase damage on our pumpkin armor. Let's just throw that off real quick. So that does 11. And now, if we equip our slimy pants, which we haven't changed the tooltip of it yet, but that would be very easy. If you wanted to change the tooltip of it, all you would do is just over here, uh, say 7% increase movement speed, and then backslash end for a new line, and then 30% sticky damage. Okay, awesome. Still have that uh, one hand on my keyboard, but that's fine. And then if we built the reload, you would see that it would say 30 uh, sticky damage. But obviously, since we're already in game, we can't do that. But if we equip this, all of a sudden, we do 14 sticky damage. Because whenever we equip this, we get a 30% bonus 
because whenever we equip this, we get a 30% bonus to our sticky damage. And that is it for the 1.4 class in Terraria. You can see how easy it is to add a custom damage type in Terraria. And if you wanted to maybe do this for another weapon, all you have to do is copy this over to another weapon and you have it already done. Thank you so much to all of the patrons out there who are supporting all of my work and my content. If you guys want to get exclusive clips and access to my game called Earthward and it's very, very, very early developer builds, uh, you can go ahead and become a patron with a link in the description. But otherwise, make sure to join the Discord, the link in the description as well, because that's where you can ask questions about Team Mod Loader and about a whole bunch of other stuff, as well as participate in all of the community events uh, that take place there. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.